Hello everybody, Harding Boys here with a new series called Redstone Upgrade. In this series, we're just going to simply take basic redstone contraptions that are used all of the time for various purposes. For example, the hopper timer or the eco clock as it's been taken and being called. And take, uh, take the concept and upgrade it just a little bit to do something else that may be cooler or maybe uh, make it a little bit more convenient or whatever the case may be improve it somehow so for this one uh, we've taken the hopper timer and if you haven't seen one of these before they're pretty basic and they're pretty simple contraptions you take two hoppers and put them into one another and you put a comparator on each side of, of one of them you put that into a block and on the other side I'll show you put a redstone dust on both sides of that on the other side of that that block right there then you um, in front of that redstone and maybe if you could look at it as being in front of the comparator as well you put two pistons on each side one and they're both facing into each other and then you put a redstone block on one of the pistons then uh, you put as many items as you would like into the hopper and it will feed it through and the comparators will cause them to shift sides whichever one has all of the items in it will be uh, the one well, whichever one's being fed items um, will be whichever one is got this redstone block right here so that's good for all sorts of things because this redstone clock will allow you to uh, power you can power ticks um, based on a specific amount of time you can also if you want to turn it on and off so say it was it would be on right now and when the clock signals again which it should in just a second it will turn whatever the thing is off so that's useful for all sorts of things the problem is you have to come over here every single time and we're gonna show you how to adjust this in a second come over here every single time and if you want to adjust it you have to keep putting items in and taking them out and taking them out is so frustrating sometimes because you can't get exactly the number you want out usually you have to time everything just right so this little contraption here is going to help with that this is a fully adjustable um, whoops didn't mean to do that this is an adjustable hopper timer and the way this works is you can see basically this is the same exact setup we have over there right except that it's got a couple of added features so you have the timer the, the basic timer with the two hoppers facing into one another that's all the same all of this from these these blocks and these these two sections right here all the same nothing has changed this section on the other hand adds quite a bit of features so say you're trying to take items out you could try to reach into the hopper timer and take them out or you could just simply press a button by doing this. So what you do is you take some hoppers and you take that hopper coming down from uh, the timer itself. It comes down to here and it connects to a hopper that is right. This is a hopper and that hopper is connected. If I can fly. That hopper is connected to a hopper not to a hopper. It is connected to a dispenser. Um, let's see if I can... I'm just not lagging. I'm lagging so bad today. Come on. Come on, would you better so. There you go. Okay. So, hopper connected to dropper. Uh, that dropper right there. There, you see, that's the hopper that it goes into. That hopper connects to this dropper. Now this dropper is just a part of an item elevator, very basic item elevator. Um, and the way this one works, this particular one, this one was the design that Mumbo Jumbo came up with. If you haven't seen him, go check out his channel. He's got so many good things. Um, anyway, this uh, dropper sends a signal to this comparator, which uh, sends a signal to this torch which then sends a signal to a redstone dust on the other side of the block I'm currently facing. And, oh my. There you go. 
All right, so you can see it a little bit better. And that's the torch down there. Sends a signal to this block, which has redstone. Sends a signal to this torch, which sends a signal to that dropper, which repeats the process because the, that dropper has a comparator in front of it as well, and it comes back up here and does the same thing until the items have reached the top. Now, this particular item elevator is connected directly into my input my my input hopper here and not here this input hopper this is where you will store all of the items you need to increase the increments of the timer so for this one this is this is as simple as it gets you take a hopper you connect it to the timer and then you power it that simple now the beautiful thing about this is it's somewhat small and you can keep it somewhat compact and all you have to do is come over here if you want to adjust the time and say I want to take items out press the button items have been taken out and they are fed back up to this sucker right here so the input chest or the input hopper rather will take items bring it back up to this so you're not losing any items you don't you can always um, use that same cycle of items to um, to use your timer so you don't ever have to go back and take items out of the the output hopper you simply just go into the input hopper and the input hopper then can go into the timer so I think this is working I think that's I was having trouble with it earlier for some reason. I'm not sure why. I think it was a lag issue. Time Timers and lag just don't go together um, because signals and timing and everything like that. But this one, I you know what? It I, I don't know if you've seen my Let's Play series. Probably not. But if you have, you'll know that I used this concept in my nuclear core reactor to adjust the timing of the atomic decay. And it's, it's good for all sorts of things. If you're, a, if you're the type of person who likes to make maps, this could be useful for, um, you know, adjust, being able to adjust time and maybe a puzzle of some kind. Things like that. You could you could use it for a lot of different concepts. But it's very easy and very basic. I mean, I, I don't like complex redstone. I like to keep things simple, which is why I love the hopper timer. The only thing, the only reason I added this is because I was tired of going in and having to put more items into the hopper if I wanted more time and take things out and put them in it just got too complicated so uh, I made this little thing right here to make things just a whole lot easier on myself so if you want to you can come over here and I mean you could have connect it however you want to as well uh, to this other side you can bring it up a couple blocks if you want to the buttons are pretty much as flexible as you need them to be so uh, this whole design is very flexible, which is something that I like about it. You can move the item elevator somewhere else, and you can, I just try to keep this as compact as possible, but you can make this as big or as weirdly shaped as you would like, as long as you have the output going into uh, an item elevator, going into eventually an input set that would be powered by, your, your button over there so it's all the, the, the concepts and the principles are all very basic and it works pretty efficiently and it has served me well in my LP world so I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys put it to good use and that you guys can find a good use for this if you have a good use for it just let me know and uh, I would love to hear what it is you guys have come up with to use this for but thanks so much for watching bye guys Harding Boys signing out. Yeah, yeah.